All right, guys, welcome back to episode two here on Clover Creek. I'm jumping in my brand new 2020 Chevrolet, and uh, we got we got the two mowers on here. I always forget the name of these. I use them every single uh, farming series. I'm just gonna stick. Uh, there it is. There it is. Uh, pon pon pon. I don't even. I don't even want to try and pronounce it. I don't even know. But we got the mowers loaded up. A little, little unrealistic. Not gonna lie, guys. Just imagine. There's a chain on it. There is a chain. Don't worry. There's a here. Can I isn't what's my one button for? There's a button for the straps. L. All right. That doesn't really help, but we got the gooseneck on here, the big text. That's what we're going to be pulling with our farm truck, our brand new farm truck. And then I got to show you guys what we all bought. I bought everything off camera just because I read the comments from episode one and I and I read through them. And first off, you guys want me to do. I mean, this is just I read through the comments. Generally, I didn't take like an official poll, but just from what I saw, people want me to use a Kenworth. Unfortunately, we don't have a Kenworth mod in here. I can probably get it in for now. I'm going to be running a Peterbilt. You guys wanted to give me a Fent or a Dutz and we got a uh, we got a I think we got a Fent. No. Yes, we have a Fent, the big track version. I forget. Um, come on. Uh, I forget like the model. And then we have. I think we we got a dust as well. But for plants or for crops, every, like most of the people just wanted me to stick to beans, wheat, and oats. Very simple crops. But in the livestock, you guys wanted me to do was mainly sheep. And then the second one, I didn't want to just do sheep. Like I wanted to do either cows or pigs along with it. And now that I'm experienced in pigs, I feel like I'll be able to handle it. And everybody, everybody who said either cows or pigs, pigs outweighed it by like way more. Nobody wanted me to do, to do cows. I didn't really like cows anyway. Uh, sorry for all those people who said to do cows, but we're going to stick with sheep, cows and horses. I don't know where exactly where we're gonna put all those places, but I'm gonna put the uh, maybe. You know what? Maybe uh, I'm thinking. All I want to do is have. I'm gonna have this small horse paddock, and then I'm just gonna have Clarence. And, and we're never gonna sell the horses. We aren't going to. I'll, I'll feed Clarence, obviously, but it'll be like super small. So I should be able to just tuck it away, like in a corner somewhere. Probably by my house, honestly. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of take out a little section there of 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 the uh, of the lawn and probably put Clarence right there. So what I want to do? Go ahead and unload these mowers again. These are our fields to the left and right here. Here's my implements so far. More of my livestock implements. We have the livestock trailer, Wilson, and then we got our water trailer, uh, straw bale, shredder, spreader. Uh, what is this again? Manure spreader. How could I forget? And then we have a grain, grain, uh, grain trailer right there. So our semi trailer and then like i said we have the peterbilt but unfortunately uh you not unfortunately but you guys wanted me to get the uh kenworth is that oh no oh no I was, for a second i thought it was i think it actually might be too short there we go we got the mowers unloaded let me ooh, where am i gonna put this guy maybe let's put them i feel like we have a lot more parking space over here we'll put them right next over here yeah that's probably the best then over there, I'm going to, I'll place down our livestock uh, enclosures today. One thing I'm not going to do, I'm going to hold off for a separate video, is our silo storage. Now, check this out, guys. Super exciting. This is where I want you guys to go comment. Two things that I want you guys to comment on is the silo storage, and there's something else that I already forgot. Uh, okay, so should I get the blue? This is, uh, I guess they're still the same. They're all the same brand. Should I get the blue or the brown? I think I haven't been in my grandma's farm, but my grandma had this sort of silo guys i really don't know like what's the difference between the blue and the brown one obviously they're probably called this one looks way newer this one looks quite a bit older my grandma had both the blue and the brown i i think she had a tall blue one and a medium-sized brown one and they were next to each other really cool i think my grandma had a red one too i don't know my grandma had a farm in iowa um and it got passed down but we like I always used to go there as a kid and stuff, so for sure gonna get a get a blue silo there, and then we'll we'll see. Guys, go in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see in terms of the silo. That's so cool that we got those in here. I don't think we had those in FS17. It's gonna make the farm look like a farm. That is literally like the American flag to like the Marines or like the Army is this like a, a silo like that to a farm. Like when you look on a farm and there isn't one, it doesn't. It just doesn't feel right. And then when you see one, it's like, yep, that's a farm. I don't know. That's how I think. Does this gate open? No, it doesn't. 
All right, so first, uh, we, we pretty much got everything that I need to, get, to kind of start out. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to start uh, harvesting. I think we have barley in that field. Let me check exactly actually what is in the field. Oh, no, we have to. Uh, let's shut down the truck here real quick. Oops, his lights are on. I'll just leave the door open. There's, there's no reason to close it. One other thing I need to drive down, which is good because I still need to kind of explain what today's goal is and i need to brief you guys on everything i did off camera here it is here's the fent it's the 1165 mt we got the tracked version on here as well but this is our this is our fence so for those who wanted us to get uh, a multitude of tractors and kind of switch up the brands we did we got fent jcb john deere case i'm, I'm probably just going to keep the the stagger as as the case a lot of you guys wanted case and maybe i'll get uh another case tractor but for now we have way more tractors than we would ever need in terms of implements but what is on the back here guys we have the seed cedar hawk seed hawk i believe seed hawk 980 and then we got the uh, the cedar in the front here as well so this is going to be able to give us a lot of storage absolutely insane piece of equipment this is not cheap and i think it requires 620 horsepower I know it's 600, so the only tractors that will be able to run it is our case and the Fent here. Are the only two tractors that have enough, enough horsepower. Oh, and we got a uh, we got the 9R right here. So here's all of our tractors right here. Here, there's the. I actually like the the Peter. It looks really nice. Okay, I, I was wondering why it quit going. I thought I had it on cruise control. All right, so we're gonna head down to the farm. I'm gonna give you guys a little more of a tour. I will place down the animal uh enclosures maybe no i probably won't even get pigs in i'm gonna pretty much start harvesting there that i'll take up some of my time maybe jump in the in the peterbilt and jump in the livestock trailer and then go down to peterson's livestock farm and go get get some get some piggies maybe maybe some sheep i don't know we'll see maybe just pick up clarence honestly just get clarence loaded up and that's all i need boy so i'll see you when we go back to the farm all right, we'll pull, we're pulling in here to the driveway. I accidentally hit my mailbox back there. This, this is not, not going to lie. This is pretty hard to control. Oh, my goodness. That was actually pretty good by me. There we go, Spencer TV. All right, we'll keep moving down here. This is uh, this is pretty hard to handle. Not going to lie. Hopefully, when we get the get it start seeding, that it like kind of stabilizes itself. But I feel like when I get going and I need to slow down, the weight of everything is just slamming me forward, and I'm not really able to control it just the way i would like to so let's see if this guy fits we might need i don't know what we're gonna do here i i'll probably have to expand our storage area but honestly our storage isn't too bad i feel like if we just don't blow things out of proportion keep one combine one planter one cedar we already did things are already way too big we we really don't need things this big but what i'm probably gonna have to do is i'll have to separately back them up there's no way I, I, I guess I actually could. No, no, I, I, I won't start seeding for a while. First, we need to get the harvest out of there. Uh, that, that, the barley grew super fast. Just the other day, I was on it. It took like two real, real life days. Again, guys, this is a dedicated server. So what that means is, uh, it's running all the time. So when I'm sleeping, like when I got on here, it was 4 a.m. in game. So what? It's like the plants are always growing continuously. Like if you're just playing solo, career, or even multiplayer, and somebody gets off, and it's not okay. I, this this pivots so fast; it's not even funny. I feel like it's really hard on tracks too, because you don't know exactly where you're turning. Um, but when somebody gets off, the game's still running. So that's the that's the thing with dedicated servers you gotta kind of keep things up but i feel like if we have plant growth on slow it, it shouldn't be too bad and like we don't have crops withering because that would be crazy because people are always planting at different times and if they can't play for three days then their crops are gonna wither you know so that's just not too realistic i don't know why i still have my hazards and flashers on all right i think now we can do better than that nope go the other way spencer tv come on now Crank it, crank it. There we go. And then I'll just use my brute strength to just swivel this guy around here. There we are. All right, so let's go grab the, uh, I guess, so that part is the cedar storage. This part, I guess, is the actual cedar itself. And then we'll go ahead and back him up here. There we go. Yeah, there's no way I could have backed this up by myself. 
and uh, having them both attached. But this, I guess the fence, like with the tracks, I feel like it turns or articulates a lot more. Oh, I think I know why. I think it's because I... Steering back speed, that's what it is. Let me just turn those down. So what I wanted that so high was when we were mining. When we were mining, it was just, I needed it. So that's why it's been so hard to back up. Oh my goodness. All right, this is going to be so nice now. Like, I can bump it up if I need it, like, later for mining. But right now, I'm going to be farming here today. So it, it, it isn't that hard to just rotate it out. Here, let me actually back this up right. And we can attach them. There we go. And then should detach. There we go. All right, that takes up a lot of our space, but still pretty big open shed there. Pretty happy with uh, with what we got there. And then honestly, I might just I might just keep this guy parked right in here. I that's like our machine shed in there, but uh, yeah, let's just keep him right here for now. I'm gonna be using these tractors like officially when I'm done for the day. I'll I'll shut her down. So first things first, let's jump in. I guess. I like how you can just change the we'll jump in the ideal we'll call it the ideal 9r 9t which is the ideal combine i like how you can kind of like change the the logo though all right so out back of the machine shed we have the header and the, it's on the header trailer right now but for we, we just always kind of like to keep it on the header trailer oh my goodness i can't even drive now my steering is all messed up and i'm not used to it of course excuses excuses so what we're gonna do is we're I think this is the largest yeah this is the largest capacity combine i think it doesn't go as fast as the john deere actually i don't know all right so we're gonna get this guy started here we'll probably just hire out the worker it's super straight field i wonder if the worker i it's been a while since i've been behind the combine a few it's probably been a solid month since i've been in the combine not gonna lie we've been busy with other stuff making other awesome videos all right let's go ahead and drop this guy down Uh, can, there we go. Lower him down. And there we are. We are harvesting some barley. I love the percent now. And then what I want to do is I got to make some straw bales. So we are going to enable straw swath. There we go. Oh, we missed that one. What the heck? It's like it wasn't doesn't want to harvest. There it goes. There goes a glitching out or something. What the? Here, maybe what? Maybe it's just a weird spot right there by the gate. I can see that. Wait, now it's not making a straw swath. What is going on? There we go. Gonna work now. All right, we're making straw swath. Not. I don't know. Maybe I accidentally clicked the button, but. That shouldn't have done that. If I hire the worker. Yeah, no. All right, we're going to take a quick lap around this guy, I'm thinking. And then we will we'll try and straighten it out and hire out the worker. Maybe, maybe on the straight path here, I'll hire him out. There we go. All right, so barley. That is going to be essential ingredient of our food for our pigs. Of course... For 100%, we're going to need to get sugar beets or potatoes, which from my experience, and I have a lot of experience in it. I mean, not a lot. Other people have more. But one time we were harvesting potatoes and sugar beets. If you guys watched the uh, the tournament for our pigs, and it was uh, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. So I will not be doing potatoes. Sugar beets are better. They aren't the best, but they for sure are better. So let me go ahead. Let's jump in. Tab around here. Here we go. We'll start. I should probably have opened the barn doors before I started up the the, uh, the Peter here. But I got the Peter and the JCB inside here. Maybe maybe the JCB will stay in our machine shed. Honestly, we have so much room in there. He can probably just stay in there. But let's go hook up to the livestock trailer first. I'm going to head on down to the livestock dealer. And we'll be getting our first 36 pigs. So go ahead, hook up there. I think I'm going to always kind of keep my trailers. I made a little kind of dirt path there. So my trailers aren't on the grass. And uh, it'll just look a lot cleaner. So actually, let's open up the map real quick. Still not used to everything. Uh, some mill over here. 
The diner, spinnery, mill. Uh, sawmill's really close to us. That's always good. If we gotta take out any trees. I, we really don't have that many trees. Okay, the closest animal dealer. I guess here's an animal dealer, but it's only chickens. Or, no, it's not only chickens, but last time when I went to an animal dealer, it, it was only... Here, let's look at other ones. Last time I went to an animal dealer, it was only, uh... You could only buy one thing there. I guess they're all chickens. Alright, I think we should be good. Maybe I'm just... Maybe that one dealer... It looked like the one dealer was only for cows. And so it kind of just threw me off. So, what we're going to do is go ahead, go up to the main road here, and then we'll hang a right. And uh, we got to spend some money for some pigs. But once I get pretty much everything bought by the next... By, by about episode 3 or 4, we should be down to... I think we'll start with $200,000 or 250 And then be, be done with... Uh, now we're like realistic and we'll be selling crops we'll be uh, doing work for other farmers and trying to make some money too from that selling livestock and trying to make as much money as we can all right so this is what i'm talking about so here we are here's the animal dealership i believe i don't know why there's what is that wait there's a sign you can sell straw dry grass windrow grass windrow or silage okay this is animal i think i can pick pick up Okay, so I think there's a set, uh, sale of animals, cows and sheep. Where are the sheep? So cows and sheep only go here. I need to find where my pigs go. I mean, I guess I can pick up some sheep. Where are some sheep? I don't see any of them here. But that's awesome that we can sell that. So really cool that it's a good place for uh, selling that very close to us, actually, too. All right, so I'm curious. Let's, let's just back up. I want to see if it actually only lets us... Uh, load up here where's the not giving me an option there we go open up animal dialogue so sheep and cows are the only thing we can purchase here should I just uh should I just purchase sheep and then head back to the farm and then go to the other dealership I think that's what I'm gonna do how many can we hold yeah let's go to garage how many actually sheep can we hold in here uh was it 38 i think i'll just buy all white sheep for now max it out if i want to get more i can there we go oh we're, we're still going this is not cheap what is it gonna be it's gonna be there we go and space to confirm we're loaded up boys holy buckets we got a lot of sheep in here i don't know i just kept it kept it the generic white sheep i, I easily could have mixed it up but we, we can get other sheep too as well all right so we're gonna go ahead and hang a left where is the other dealership i don't think it's that far from here hopefully that one's the pig enclosure let me actually uh here when we get to the farm i'll visit the i'll visit this one just to make sure it's a hog confinement and not another i mean it could be chickens it could be uh horses too and not pigs so we need to find out where the pigs are because when i go and sell like my pigs are gonna be reproducing i'm gonna get the largest one it's gonna have like 200 in there i think the max is 250 and they're gonna be producing like 50 a day oh i maybe 50 a day i remember when i had 50 of them and they would produce like 25 in like a few days so i don't know how crazy it'll get i had them at 100 percent productivity too so i i think that helped but I need to be able to to go off and sell you know thirty thousand dollars worth ahead real quick so we'll see how that plays out let's go ahead and pull in here so i don't have a sheep pasture but I, i'll easily place one down i'll just do it right now animal pens i think i'll do the large one okay we really don't oh we might have room We can kind of shorten things up too. Here, let's see how big is the large pig. Oh, this guy's pretty big. Maybe I'm going to place this down first. Um. All right, are there any triggers over here that I got to be wary of? I mean, I can always hear what we're probably going to do. I'll put my pig enclosure. right there it'll take up all this room and then i'll put the sheep just across the road and i'll go sheep 
and we'll put them right there. Perfect. That looks good. Now let me just do a little bit of sculpting. And just we want to smooth it out as much as we can. It doesn't take too long. Especially the road. Whenever we're driving, we want to make sure we smooth this out very nicely. Oh, uh, there we go. Looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. I love how we have solar panels on our on our pig enclosure. But today is pretty much livestock, getting everything ready. We got all of our equipment in here. We need to keep going. I need to go get some pigs. And then tomorrow, I guess we're harvesting too. So don't forget about that. Is my guy still going? I know it holds a lot, but geez Louise. Yeah, he's full. Okay. So no worries. I think we're done with straw swath. Let me just... Here, dismiss the worker. We're wasting money there. Now, disable straw swath. Don't want to make any more. There we go. We'll just shut it down real quick. We'll come and get you, buddy. Let me just get my pigs in here. And I really have no spot to... Oh, we were still driving. I have no spot to put the put the grain. So we'll be continuing to harvest into episode 3 as we get down our silo. We got to get a construction company out here. And we got to get all that taken care of. So, alright, where is my... Here they are. And I mean, I'm going to have... Pig, the pigs are going to go a little hungry. And so are the sheep as of this moment. But I just kind of want to get them in. Because I think it's fun. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead. Throw her around. And then, yeah, I got the Peterbilt in black and white. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. I like how the hood has a stripe running down it. Back up, back up. There we go. Go ahead, spam it. See how fast I can click? Three, two, one, go. And there we go. We got all white sheep. I mean, I'll probably... How much does it hold? Let's look. Um, Probably should have looked even when I bought it. That's probably pretty important. Sheep pastures all the way on the end. Oops, I don't want to buy another one. 250, so we have 38 in there right now. So we're going we're gonna to be getting a lot more. All right, let me go ahead and visit the animal dealer right here. That sounds like pigs. Perfect. All right, that's not, that's not far away at all either. So where is my guy? There he is. And I'll head down there right now. All right, so here are the pig enclosures. So we can uh, deliver pigs. I think that's all. I wonder if we can sell slurry down here. Come on. That's all it says. I love how we have signs. I love it. I I, I am I'm really loving this map. But here's a water tank. Um, is there any place that we can sell slurry? I would love to do that because a lot of times I it's just not. It's sometimes kind of hard to spread down for fertilizer, but let's go ahead here. I'll just get all pink pigs for now. And then I'll probably do four trips with sheep and pigs. So what I'm going to do is probably just do a full load of pink, full load of white, black, and black and white, and then black. So, and then same, same thing with sheep. There we go. It's full. Space to confirm. There we are. I love the animated noise. Here, let's just drive around real quick. Hopefully, there's a sign in the back where I can unload. I mean, there's the tanks right there. No, I wish we could. I wish there were a sell point. No, I, that would be so nice. Because I'm pretty sure you can't sell slurry or manure anywhere. Wait, maybe. No, no, I don't think you could sell manure back at the uh, cattle yard. So I, let's go. Is there a road back? Yes, the road that I took, of course. All right, so we're going to shoot over here, take this road. And then we'll head up and back to the farm. All right, so here we go. We got to unload these guys. We'll back them in right here. I think that's where you unload them. Like, it seems like the place... Wait, do the, does the fence even open up? No, that's probably where I take straw. Yeah, I think it's around... Wait, wait, let me just jump out. I haven't done pigs in a while, so obviously here's our tank. This looks like straw. There's no gate. And then that's feed. That's feed. Oh, it's around here. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and pull around here. All right, so we're backing up here, hopefully successfully, and then we'll open up the old tin doors there and we'll unload all the, all the hogs. So we got 36, I believe, per load. So what, 36 times 4 is how much we're going to have in, and then the rest will have to reproduce on their own. I'll buy 146, and then the rest will have to reproduce to 210, which I feel like it said pig's reproduction rate is, like, super fast. And then that's how I am going. Okay, there they go. All right, I love how they just all appear. There we go. They're too clean. I feel like they need to dirty up. But 
we have a lot more to do to get these guys ready obviously here let's just brief overview for these for sheep i could actually do this really quick uh hay or grass we could just go mow and then water and then make sure they're clean all the time and it's 100 percent and then here we go so we got corn we got barley already planted or already harvested starting to we'll plant soybeans get those ready and then sugar beets so four crops that we're going to run here probably in the first 10 to 12 episodes and then we might move on after we've got that storage the way i want it maybe the cotton maybe to i still haven't talked to anybody yet on the on the farm but super weird let's go wait there aren't that many places i guess there are a few but we can do carrots onions gra grapes i think that's grapes i'm not sure what that plan is but we can do those or it appears like we can i mean we can go sell it so obviously we can plant it uh and all the planters say that they can plant it too so i want to do i want to do carrots i want to do that that would be so cool i, I want to do onions i actually just found the taste for onions i can put it on my burgers all the time and stuff so i kind of want to do onions I, that doesn't really make sense but still uh i want to do onions so thank you guys so much for watching now i'm going to hook up to our to our grain trailer there and we will go start unloading and i'll i'll leave you guys off here on episode two thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys all in episode three